Sharp. Good morning, you two. Hi, Jenny. How are you? Good. How are you? Good, Jenny. I'm doing great. great. I said, how you doing, Jenny? I'm doing Your great. Your name is Jenny. <laughs> I'm doing great. Okay. You know, how are good. you still? Yeah. I'm happy because we get to talk about Tom Brady. Yeah, that is a good day. Oh, yes. yeah, yeah, yeah. Man, you just love that. It's a good week. It's a good <laughs> two great. weeks. I know. You're right. It just goes on and on. And you know what? We should just talk about him for another month or so after he wins another Super Bowl. What do you think? Oh, you're going to yeah. be so disappointed. Yeah. Okay. And we got another one of your favorite topics here. Yep. Yeah. Which is? Which is the Cowboys. Oh, good. But here's the thing, Skip. There yeah. might be some drama uh -huh. with your How are you, team. Shannon? We're going to get to that yeah. later. And then, John Elway, are you listening to uh, Shannon's take yep. on Instant Replay? Don't call him. Yep. Oh, you guys yep. have something to share? <laughs> All right. Either way, since it is a little bit more about Tom Brady, let's start with yeah. the Patriots. Get a load of these crazy numbers. Tom Brady and Bill Belichick are headed to their third straight Super Bowl. It will also mark their ninth trip together in the 18 years. But all of this might not have happened if the reports are true that Bill Belichick wanted Jimmy Garoppolo to be the starter for the Patriots over a year ago instead of Brady. Jimmy G was ultimately traded to the Niners, and Brady is, uh, well, he's still Brady. So, Shannon, mm -hmm. let's think about this. What would have happened to the Patriots if Belichick got his way and Jimmy G was the starting quarterback? I believe they'd be in the exact same place. Huh. Because when you go to New England... You don't play for stats, you play to a standard. And the standard is to get to and win Super Bowls. If you look at the success that Tom Brady's had in the playoff, 90 snap, 90 drop back passes, no sacks, three hits. They're running the football like they haven't run the football all year. So you're telling me how many of the top quarterbacks could not do what Tom Brady's doing? I believe Jimmy Garoppolo, given the same sort of circumstances, they're going to run the football like they're running it. They're going to protect him like they're protecting Tom Brady. I believe they would be in the exact same spot. The AFC East is not going to get better if Jimmy Garoppolo. Mm -hmm. So all of a sudden, the Jets are going to get better. All of a sudden, the Dolphins are going to get better. Buffalo is going to get better because that's what he's playing against. Probably lose to maybe the same games they lost. Who knows? Mm -hmm. Tom Brady, Skip, let's be real. These two games, Tom Brady didn't have a whole lot of these games in the regular season. I think you could attest to that. You feel comfortable saying that, Skip Bailey? No, I, thought hey, he, no, I no. thought he did at Miami. I thought that was oh, no, great. No, no, no. Oh, okay, that's one game. Yeah. So had, did he mm -hmm. have a lot of, in, even in Miami, did he play like this? Because mm. remember, he got hit in Miami. Mm. So Let's I, see, he outgunned Mahomes. He outgunned Aaron Rodgers. He beat the Bears at Chicago. I, I don't know. Go ahead. All I'm saying, and even in that, did he put up these type numbers? No, he saves the best for last, uh, as usual. But. <laughs> That's all I'm yep. saying is that guys may, and plus, Sonny Michelle, is he not running the football? Is James White not catching the football? Julian Edelman is doing, ju mm -hmm. doing Julian Edelman type things. Finally. Chris Hogan is, oh. It, it's funny that you say finally, mm -hmm. considering that Julian Edelman has the most playoff catches behind Jerry Rice in the Super Bowl era. Well, it's he, he wasn't say, doing this all year, but go ahead. Oh, Go and ahead. neither was Tom Brady, well, which would make my uh, point for me. Thank uh, you. But again, before I was so rudely, oh, I can't believe Skip Bailey here hmm. like interrupting me. I didn't interrupt. I corrected. No, I don't need There's to There's a big difference. <laughs> I don't need correction. <laughs> I believe if Jimmy Garoppolo had been the, the Patriots' starting quarterback, mm -hmm. given that everybody on that roster played to a standard, and the standard is to get to and to win a Super Bowl, I believe they would have been in the exact same spot. Mm. That, that's, that's me. Hmm. I happen to know a little something about football, Skip Bailey. So... Yep. Because if you look at Tom Brady's numbers, Tom Brady's numbers are exactly the numbers that a guy put up in Minnesota. Mm. Kirk first mm. cousins. Mm. Really? Tom Brady had the exact same number. Mm. Wait, Maybe. one guy was in the playoffs, one guy didn't make the playoffs. But go ahead. They're in line. Mm. Thank oh, you. Yeah. So you making my point for mm. me. Mm. I believe that if Jimmy Garoppolo is in this system, Coach Belichick is his head coach, Josh McDaniels is doing what he's doing, mm -hmm. calling up all the right plays mm -hmm. at all the right times, mm. I believe they're in the exact same spot, mm. which is the Super Bowl. Mm. And I thought on Monday you had seen the light. I thought I sat right here on Monday morning on Undisputed, and I thought I heard a mea culpa from Shannon Sharp, the Hall of Fame tight end. Yeah. I thought he said, I give up, I give in. He's the greatest. He's all that you've been saying yeah. he is, okay. right? Yeah. 
So how could you then flip on that opinion and say they'd be exactly the same with a kid at quarterback, the hardest position to play in all of sports? And you're saying Jimmy G would have stepped right in and done exactly what the greatest quarterback in history has done this year? Mm -hmm. You think Jimmy G would have beaten the Chargers and he yeah. would have beaten the Chiefs in yes. Kansas City? Yes, yes. That, that is insanely wrong. And you know in your heart of hearts you're, you're just fighting fighting back now, and I appreciate, I no, respect no, 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 that. No, 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 I'm not fighting back, Skip, because, but here's the oh, thing, the oh. caveat, and I preface it by saying, are you telling me Jimmy Garoppolo is not going to get touched? Are you telling me that Sonny Michelle is going to run the exact same way? I'm going to explain all of the above. If Bill Belichick had gotten his way and Jimmy Garoppolo had been starter for the Patriots from day one this football season, I seriously doubt they would have made the playoffs oh, unless by default just because it is the AFC least. And by default, I would have to give them nine and seven with Jimmy G, but I don't think they could have gone nine and seven because I'm pretty sure Jimmy G would have lost to Patrick Mahomes in Foxborough in week six on that Sunday night when G when Patrick Mahomes put up 31 second half points. Put up 31 again. Yeah. And he lost. 24 in the fourth quarter, but he lost to Tom Brady. There is no way Jimmy G could have done what Brady did with that defense in spite of that defense and with this receiver core that obviously lost Josh Gordon after they had him for 11 games and they have no wide out who can consistently separate and he's throwing to 32 year old Julian Edelman and what's left of Rob Gronkowski. There is no way Jimmy G could have done any of that. And once they had lost a couple of games, what the, the biggest point you're missing is Tom Brady has proven over 19 years to be the greatest leader in the history of sports. He runs that locker room for Coach Belichick. He is a coach's dream because he sets the ultimate working example day after day after day after day. He's in early, he stays late, nobody studies any harder. I'm not saying he studies the hardest, but nobody I think studies any harder than Tom Brady. It. He sets a tone for Belichick that's, that resonates through that locker room that you do exactly what that coach says. Do I think Tom Brady believes in everything? No, he doesn't. But he just, he knows that the only way it's going to work, function as a unit is, we do what he says no matter whether we believe in it or not. Is we do it. Are you saying that Jimmy would say we're going to do opposite of what he, he says? He just, he has never shown me remotely the leadership intangibles that this guy Skip, has. So you, do, do you understand how the locker room would start to teeter? The culture would would be shell-shocked without Tom so Brady me, in the middle so of it. Question. You know this. Okay, uh, let me, so when Tom Brady was the backup in 2000, mm -hmm. did he show this? You don't, you never know what a person's going to be until you put him in the mix. I, I, from what watching Kansas, I'm sorry, uh, San Francisco this year, I just didn't see the body language. But I what didn't did see Coach those... Belichick see? Coach Belichick saw something. He saw an opening that he could to he could gain all the credit. He could he could go and just just say, I've got my guy, I've got my five Super Bowls, and I have an opportunity to show the world I can do more. it without Tom Brady. He said, I'm gonna get me okay? five more with and, Jimmy. And again, I think Jimmy Garoppolo is going to be long-term a very good quarterback. Okay. We are talking about the greatest ever, not only as the, the greatest clutch performer, but the greatest leader ever. And the combination of that at the hardest position to play is virtually unbeatable. And I'm shocked you're saying this after you watched two all-time clinics performed yes. by, by Tom Brady against your Super Bowl pick, the Chargers, mm -hmm. and then against your runaway MVP, the kid quarterback that you love the most, Patrick Mahomeboy in Kansas City. There's only one way that the Patriots are going to steal that game, and they stole it. And the only way is for Tom Brady to control the football for 44 minutes and keep it away from Patrick Mahomes, who had it for only 21 minutes. And the only way you do that, as you well know, is you convert 13 of 19 third downs. Virtually impossible. But how does he do it? How did he do it? And by the way, let me keep this into this perspective, just so no one loses perspective. Remember, last year at the trade deadline, it was October 31st of 2017, according to ESPN, boom, 
Robert Kraft said no to Bill Belichick, and it must have been the first time because he controls all football decisions, Absolutely. right? Absolutely. Yeah. And he said, you will trade Jimmy Garoppolo, and you will go forward with Tom Brady as your quarterback next year. This is midway through the, the previous, the yeah, 2017. 2017 season. So what happened from that point forward? Tom Brady went on to win the MVP that year, right? Mm -hmm. Tom Brady went on in the AFC Championship game, albeit this one in Foxborough, down 20 to 10 going into the fourth quarter against Saxonville, the hottest defense in pro football. He proceeded in the fourth quarter to throw for 138 yards and two touchdowns with 12 stitches in the palm of his throwing hand. Big deal, no big deal. I don't know. I thought it was a pretty big deal. But he saved Belichick's bacon that day and got them to a Super Bowl. And then despite Belichick benching Malcolm Butler and giving up 41 points in the Super Bowl, Tom Brady threw for an all-time playoff record 505 yards and almost pulled that game out. So then we fast forward into this year and we say, what kept happening this year? This defense is not very good. It, it is leaky at best. It's not and, worse than Kansas City's. Uh, you know what? That's debatable. You know, to it's me not, no Because debate. it has no pass rush to speak of. It, it has had none all year. But they sacked Mahomes four times. A 